The first official trailer for Andor reveals a glimpse into the rise of the rebellion, hinting that it can tell a rebellion story Star Wars has never been able to tell before. The titular Cassian Andor and other familiar faces from Rogue One, a Star Wars story and Star Wars Rebels are pictured in the franchise's latest live-action entry. Although the Alliance's cast of characters is recognizable thanks to other media, Andor will be a distinctive Star Wars show. The Rebellion has been chronicled in a variety of forms outside the Skywalker saga in Star Wars canon. Well hidden amidst the Masasi ruins on Yavin IV, the main rebel base is heavily featured in Rogue One. Other depictions include, Phoenix Squadron, a smaller cell introduced in Rebels. The Rebel Alliance has an evident duality, ranging from a formidable political coalition to that of a ragtag band of smugglers. With Andor, executive producer and star Diego Luna can explore the inception of the Rebellion in a moment of transition for both the Star Wars canon, and the franchise as a whole. The Star Wars franchise is in a somewhat precarious position. With the conclusion of the Skywalker saga for now, and future films somewhat up in the air, stories outside the silver screen like Andor can flourish. With word of Andor breaking several established Star Wars trends, the show is ambitiously poised to build on existing lore in a nuanced fashion. By the end of Rogue One and Rebels, the Rebellion is mostly united under common leadership, they are a fully-fledged alliance. Andor's scope allows for visibility of the Rebellion's formation, a new shade that is yet to be explored in great detail. How Andor can beat the Rebellion stories of Rogue One and Rebels Star Wars Rebels is an underappreciated entry in the franchise catalog. Often overshadowed by Star Wars, The Clone Wars, Rebels was a more self-contained animated production. Showrunner Dave Filoni crafted a touching story that centered around layers of agency. The show highlights the adventures of the Ghost crew through the lens of a found family dynamic. Rebels further depicts the development of this group, and their membership in a larger splinter cell of the Rebel Alliance, Phoenix Squadron. Andor shares a timeline with Star Wars Rebels, but there is an opportunity to capture a much richer portrayal of the Rebel Alliance through the perspective of characters both new and old. Luthan Rail, Stellan Skarsgård, and Sergeant Kostek, Alex Ferns, are expected to prominently feature as newly introduced members of the Rebellion. While these debuts are exciting, the show also marks the return to live-action Star Wars for Saw Gerrera, Forrest Whitaker, and Mon Mothma, Genevieve Orly, both of whom appeared in Rogue One and Rebels. Mothma embodies the political image of the Alliance, while Guerrero represents a seedier side to Star Wars. Guerrero's extensive militancy is somewhat familiar, but the minutia of political relationships Mothma deals with are less apparent. It's through these two avenues that Andor can tell a stronger, more complete story than those presented in Rogue One and Rebels. If Andor can capture the gritty, boots-on-the-ground nature of Rogue One, while also incorporating intimate relationships akin to those found in Rebels, it has the potential to become the best Rebellion story yet. Although Andor's timeline and story coincide with Rebels, the new show functions as a de facto prequel to Rogue One. Among the most frequent criticisms of that film was that it did not take enough care in fleshing out its characters. With two 12-episode seasons confirmed, Cassian Andor will be given much-needed depth. In a tumultuous time for the Star Wars franchise, Andor will not only act as a link between two in-universe eras, but it will build on the best that came before across two Star Wars mediums.
You do.